Hi guys, welcome back to A Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another causal inference struggle. Today we're going to really quickly go over the difference between sharp and fuzzy regression discontinuity designs. We'll do a quick review of an RDD and then we'll jump right into helping you figure out the difference between sharp and fuzzy RDDs. Timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's quickly review a regression discontinuity design. So in RDD, again, we're trying to estimate the effect of some treatment variable or some X variable on your outcome variable or Y variable. And that treatment variable is gonna be a function of some other variable Z, which we call the running variable. And that treatment status is going to change at some exact value of your running variable, which we call the threshold. So maybe once again, we'll go back to an example of, I'm trying to estimate the impact or the effect of adopting a cat on my stress level and whether or not I can adopt a cat is going to be a function of some test that I take by the adoption agency. Maybe the result of that test is called my cat IQ score, and I need to get at least a Z star value on that cat IQ score in order to be able to adopt a cat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot my treatment variable or my X variable, whether or not I adopt the cat or not. If I fail the cat IQ test, then I am not able to adopt a cat and my treatment status is zero. Even if I just barely pass, it doesn't matter if I barely pass or pass by a lot. If I pass this cat IQ test, I'm able to adopt a cat. Let's say I do actually adopt a cat, and then so my treatment status is one. Now I can plot my stress level. Again, stress level we'll say goes from zero to 10. I can plot that outcome variable, that stress variable against my cat IQ score. So here is this nice little stress level based on my cat IQ score. And notice that when I just barely pass the cat IQ test, my stress level jumps down to some lower value and then continues in a continuous fashion. Now, the effect of adopting the cat on the stress level, we're gonna get that by taking this discontinuity in the stress level right at the threshold, or when I just barely pass versus just barely fail. And I'm going to divide that by the discontinuity in X, or my treatment status when I just barely pass versus when I just barely fail. So here is that formula right here, just the discontinuity in Y over the discontinuity in X. And the reason this works, I'm not going to compare people who failed by a lot, who have no knowledge of cats, to people who basically got a 100 on the cat IQ test. Those people are not comparable for a number of different ways. So I don't want to use them to estimate the impact of adopting the cat on the stress level, because really they're just not going to be comparable in a lot of ways and it doesn't make sense. The point of me doing this regression discontinuity design is I want to compare people who are very similar other than one person just happened to randomly pass this test and one person did not. And so I am going to look at people really, really close to this Z star, really, really close to this threshold, really close to the score that I needed to just pass this CAT IQ test. So I'm going to compare something like these people in purple to these other people in purple. By comparing people really close to the threshold, I am calculating a local average treatment effect. And just like before with an IV estimate, I don't care about people who don't change their behavior, whether they just barely pass this CAT IQ test or people who just barely fail this CAT IQ test. I care about the people who, if they pass the test, will get a CAT. And if they don't pass the test, they will not get a CAT. Who are those people? Those are people we call compliers. An RD estimate is a local average treatment effect for compliers at the threshold. Again, that's all reviewed in my previous video. I'm just reviewing this before we go into this sharp versus fuzzy. To tell whether or not an RD is sharp or fuzzy, it's gonna be really simple. All you're gonna ask yourself is, how does my treatment change right at the threshold? If it changes by one, if no one adopts a cat who just barely fails this IQ test, and everyone who just barely passes the IQ test does indeed adopt a cat, then your treatment status is going from zero to one absolutely right at that threshold, and that is what we call a sharp RD. If that does not happen, maybe the adoption agency is kind of soft about this threshold. So if you get like a 68 and the passing score is a 70, you missed it by two points, maybe you can convince the agency that, hey, even though I failed, you know, I know enough where you should let me adopt this cat and the agency will say yes. And maybe there are some people who just barely passed this cat IQ test who say, actually, it's nice that I passed, but I don't actually want to adopt a cat. So the treatment status might not go from zero to one right at the threshold. In this case, maybe it goes from 25% of people who fail still get a cat and 75% of people who just barely pass get a cat. So the compliance rate at the threshold is 0.75 minus 0.25 or 0.5. So in both cases, if we had a discontinuity in Y at the threshold of minus two, 
Here in a sharp RD, we would calculate an average treatment effect of minus 2. And here in the fuzzy RD, we would estimate this effect to be negative 4. Notice that when we have a lower compliance rate, we tend to have a higher weight or a more negative weight. But you also might think that, well, maybe this discontinuity in Y right at the threshold would be smaller if we didn't have such as high as a jump. So maybe instead of 3 and 5, maybe this is like 4.5. And maybe this is like 3.5, so you have negative 1 over 0 0.5, which would be back to the original 2, something like that. But again, the main thing here is a fuzzy RD is when your jump in treatment status at the threshold is not 1, and a sharp RD is when your jump in treatment at the threshold is exactly equal to 1. Notice that in the fuzzy RD, you need some sort of jump, right? If this treatment status does not change at the threshold, then you do not, in fact, have an RD you need to think about another way to estimate your treatment effect. But hopefully this just gives you a real quick review of an RD estimate and a real quick way to tell whether or not an RD is sharp or fuzzy. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.